609 right now, and vice presidential hopefuls are turning up locally. Yeah. They're, they're all coming here, turning their attention to the Bay State and vying for a very important endorsement. Yeah, uh, Massachusetts is not really known as a swing state, but there's something important here. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance is in town today, less than 24 hours after Governor Tim Walz campaigned here. Well, NBC 10's Jeff Safferstone always digging, finding the new elements in the story. Tell us about both visits. It's all part of a union visit, guys. Well, look, Walz was here Wednesday. Now it's J.D. Vance's turn. The Republican vice presidential nominee will be in Boston later this morning. Vance will speak at the International Association of Firefighters Conference. He was a late add to the schedule as both parties are trying to get the union's endorsement. Politico reports Florida Congressman Carlos Jimenez, the only firefighter elected to Congress, is set to introduce Vance today. On Wednesday, it was Democratic VP nominee Tim Walls who spoke to the IAFF, a union that represents about 350,000 firefighters. Now, Walls spoke about his own experience as part of the nation's largest teachers union. He also told the group about what the Harris Walls administration would do for first responders. When we're in office, we'll make sure you have all the resources and protections you need to do your jobs and your services respected and that you come home safe every night. So the IAFF is one of two major unions that have yet to endorse a candidate in this race. We should mention they endorsed Biden back in 2020. Also happening today, Wall said Vice President Harris will sit down for their first joint interview tonight. That's on CNN. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Saperstone, NBC10 Boston.